Hey there, it's Fanny and welcome back to another mukbang. Today we're going to be doing an at-home mukbang because it seems like a lot of you guys enjoy that more. I will still be switching it up, doing core mukbangs here and there, you know, really depending on the food. If I'm eating some tacos or anything fried, it's very important to eat that as fresh as possible. But today we're doing an at-home mukbang and we're going to eat some Indian food because I'm craving for Indian food again. So yeah, we're gonna go get some. But before you guys continue watching, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on those post notifications because you know, they'll really, really, really help me out. And let's go get some Indian food. Okay guys, the food is all laid out and everything looks and smells so, so, so amazing. So let's go over really quickly what we're eating today before we begin eating. So over here I have is garlic naan, and then we have the pani puri, and then we have is some garbanzo beans with aloo gobi, which is like potatoes and cauliflowers, some rice, chicken tikka masala, and then some spinach chicken. Then here we have some mango lassi with the sauce for the pani puri. <laughs> I'm really excited to try pani puri because I've been seeing it all over YouTube and it just looks like a really fun snack to eat. So basically what I know of pani puri is it's like a fried Indian snack and there's like potatoes inside. Um, you're supposed to put the sauce in here and then eat it. So let's try that. This is like a green sauce. Actually, I kind of want to like taste this sauce first. Oh, it's like a mint sauce. It tastes very similar to the mint chutney that they give you with like samosa, but just watered down. Okay. Ooh. So let's put the sauce inside. Supposed to maybe fill it up to the rim. I don't know. She gave me a lot of sauce, so I'm assuming I should be using as much of the sauce as I can. All right, <laughs> let's try it out. Mmm. Wow. This is really good. Outside reminds me of like um like a shrimp cracker. <laughs> I know it's not a shrimp cracker, but I'm trying to put it in like my own perspective. It reminds me of like a shrimp cracker, and inside there's like potatoes. It tastes really good when you put the sauce inside too. You get like the nice mint flavors, and it's just like a little bit spicy, not too intense. It's really good. This is very delightful. It's actually really fun to eat just to like fill up the <laughs> the circle with sauce. Mm. So amazing. Okay, let's move on to the curries with the naan. I want to try the garbanzo one. I don't remember if I've tried this garbanzo curry before. Mm. Super flavorful. So good. The flavoring is uh, really similar to the eggplant one. Let's eat some aloo gobi. This is my favorite ever. <laughs> I 
Olive Gobi is just so good. Okay, it's time to eat some chicken tikka masala. Mix that rice with the curry. Oh yes, you guys see this? I'm gonna try the spinach chicken now with the naan. Mmm. This spinach chicken is really, really, really good. big piece of chicken and the chicken tikka masala <laughs> Indian food is something I can like literally eat every single day. I swear I won't get tired of it. It's just so good. <laughs> I want to try taking a bite of my curry with rice. Let's eat some like spinach chicken with some chicken tikka masala. And, oof, and then drinking this after. I think it'll be really tasty. Ooh. Mm. That's bomb. Oh my god. Well, let's do that again. <laughs> so good. So good. This 
spinach chicken is really, really good. I don't know why I don't get this more often. So good with the naan. <laughs> Let's eat a garlic naan with the chicken tikka masala. I don't think I've done that yet with an actual piece of chicken. <laughs> Less bite. Let's eat one more pani puri. I'm gonna save these two for my boyfriend to try. So delicious. And let's finish it off with the mango lassi. You know, I always gotta get mango lassi every time I go to an Indian place. Oh. 
so good so creamy so much mango flavor Mango lassi is like the perfect way to just finish off your Indian meal. Like, it just goes so well because you're eating all this spicy food and then you just finish it off with this nice creamy yogurt mango drink. Like, oh, it's such a good combination. One more step, one more step, and then I'll end this mukbang. Okay guys, so that is it for today's mukbang. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you enjoy these at-home mukbangs, make sure to like this video so I know that you enjoy it. Make sure to subscribe and leave a comment down below. And yeah, thank you so, so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it if you watched until the end. Don't worry, these punny periods will not go to waste. I'm gonna give these to my boyfriend so he can try them himself. And uh, yeah, until next time, see you guys, bye. Gucci has been wanting to say hi this entire time I've been filming the mukbang. She's been like scratching on the chair. I don't know if you guys could hear her, but <laughs> here she is. Doing, 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 doing. Say hello, Gucci. She's smelling my food. You cannot eat this girl. I already fed her. I fed her before I filmed. But you know, she, she a fat girl. <laughs> All right. Bye. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. <laughs>